hello and welcome to or welcome back to the simply ca my name is alana and today we are going to be doing a glute and inner outer thigh 10 minute quick cardio strength class so no equipment necessary just your mat or something to lie on and a wall we are going to be doing two rounds of two different sets of exercises. 30 seconds on, five seconds to change positions, and then moving straight through. So we're gonna get in, get it done, and get going. Let's get going now. We are going to be starting off with a parallel squat followed by a curtsy lunge. So squat, curtsy, alternating sides, curtsy. Squat, curtsy going. Nice and tall for your spine, open across your chest, just warming up the glutes, the inner, the outer thighs. As I said, 30 seconds on, 5 seconds to change positions. Next up, we're coming into a lateral leg raise. Alright, setting yourself up, one leg's nice and strong, other knee is soft, just going to lift and lower. Now, if you want to have that wall nearby so that you've got it for support, go ahead and do that. This standing leg, or sorry, this lifted leg is bent, foot is flexed, and you can tap your toes down as they come, or you can do the whole thing hovered, which is putting a lot of extra strength into your standing leg. All right, other side. So again, standing leg is strong, a little soft in the knee, and then lifting leg has a bend, and you can touch your toes down or keep them hovered the whole time, working this outer glute. Next up, we've got a curtsy, curtsy lunge pulse with leg lift. So, set yourself up. We're gonna go pulse, 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 lift. Pulse, 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 lift. You can have that leg bent or straight. Lift, pulse, 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 and up. Five more seconds here and then we switch to the other side if you lose your balance. Don't worry. Getting ready to cross. Pulse, 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 lift. So hips still face forwards throughout the whole thing. Halfway there. Moving to the wall next. All right, to your wall. Sit yourself down, feet about hips width apart, and then squeeze your knees together. If you want, you can come up on your toes or not. Try to be nice and strong through your spine. Try to get your butt as close to 90 degrees as you can and squeeze your inner thighs. 10 more seconds. And then we do it all again. Coming back up to the top, squat and curtsy. Squat, curtsy. Second set through these exercises. Last time you have to do them in this class. Or you can always repeat. 10 more seconds here. Burn it out. Finish up. All right, standing leg raise. Whoop. My balance. 
your outer glutes. So try to have your leg moving out from a centered location, not forwards, not backwards. Last few seconds on this side. Last time, other side. And you can always play around with this. So you could always see what it feels like to put your leg a little bit more backwards or more forwards. You want to try and find that spot where if you have your hand to your outer glute, you can feel those muscles squeeze in as they lift your leg. 10 seconds. All right, curtsy pulse with a leg lift. Leg behind, pulse, 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 up. Keep going. Side, last round on this side. Pulse, 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 up. If you need to catch your balance, totally fine. Really use your glutes to lift your leg. So it's not a kick, it's a lift. one of this round we are moving to the wall feet about hips width maybe even a little wider knees come together sit down squeeze your inner thighs and just hang out just casually hang out over halfway there you got 10 seconds left Stick with it. Squeeze your inner thighs. All right, moving on to your side plank. Knees stacked. Up on your hand, you're gonna hip drop. So down, up, down. So you're using your obliques, but also your outer thighs. If you want to make this harder, you can always hover your top leg, because why not? We're moving straight to the other side after this. Flip up on your hand. Nice angle at your shoulder. Knees are bent down and up. You can stay with your knees stacked, or if you want, you can make it a little harder. Losing that upper glute, as well as a little bit more of your core strength by hovering that top leg. After this, you're lying down on your back for a bridge. So, you're gonna have your feet just a little wider than hips width, knees squeezed together, lift and lower if you want. Hands can come up, and if you really want, you can sort of pulse it at the top. Or you can go all the way up, all the way down. Staying in your bridge, this time you're gonna have your feet nice and wide, toes out, heels in. Lift up, hold up, pump your knees wide. So again, getting into those outer glute muscles, squeeze your core, hands can be down for support or up to make it harder. Try to squeeze your butt up even higher. Good. 
back up to the top, onto your hand, hip dips. If you want, cover that leg. The top leg. Last round through. Last sets of exercises here. You got this. Halfway through this one. choice, full range of motion all the way down, all the way up, or keep it at the top and squeeze. Little tiny pulses. Last one. Toes out, heels in, knees out. Up to the top, hold it, push wide. Really feel the outer glutes squeezing and working. Keep it going. This is it. Lift up higher. 10 seconds. Done. If you enjoy this, keep following along. If you want to stretch it out, I will link a short yoga video to wrap up for the end of this. Have a great day.